Welcome to Ecuador. We're back here doing an Ecuadorian style. What's up, Ecuador? What's up, Ecuador? My name is Benny Anjane. I live here in Ecuador. I came here to serve where the need is great. I want to introduce you to what it's like pioneering in Ecuador. Pioneering since for 13 years. Uh, my name is Jonathan, and I'm auxiliary and pioneering for this month and next month. My name is Andres Moreira. Pioneering, I visited I visit congregations. Me llamo Estefania y vivo en Cano. Cinco años de Uh My name is Brandon. I'm living in Canoa, Ecuador. Uh, pioneering for over five years. My name is Sofia Marquez. I'm living in Puyo. I am pioneering for eight years. Uh, my name is Clayton. I've been in Ecuador for only a week. I love it. And I've been pioneering for this is my second year. Maria Jose and I have been pioneering for seven years. I went to my second school last year. It was nice. <laughs> my name is Arhenis. I've been pioneering for the last five years and I serve in San Lorenzo. My name is Hector Caro. I'm a, I've been pioneering for six years. With my wife, I've been doing it for a year right now. We went to Pioneer School together this year. My name is Ashton, and I live in Kanoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been pioneering for three and a half years. My name is Jordan. Uh, I've been pioneering for five years, and I live in Salango, Manabi, Ecuador. Papa. One thing's for sure, I have never seen such a beautiful country in my entire life. One thing I will never forget <laughs> is how amazing the ministry was. Cheers, my 
Mikey. This guy's a shepherd. It reminds you of the scripture about the elders. Shepherds the flock. It's really cool to see a real shepherd show with the flock. The volcano just exploded. But good thing we're in Guaranda. We're miles away from there. Breathe. I didn't think I could even make it. Within a country with a variety of landscapes, cultures, and peoples, you get to experience things that you wouldn't experience anywhere else. All right, this is where we stayed for about a year. We would come out on, for service on Fridays and uh, spend a, the night. So this is the bathroom area. So the water would collect from the rainwater, had a tube and it would fill up. We had a screen over the top to keep it uh, clean without bugs. We'd scrub it with bleach and everything and this would fill up to about halfway. And that's what we'd flush with and be able to rinse our dishes with. and whatever else we needed. This is the bathroom, but then the owners that live in Quito decided to uh, not let us use the bathroom, so they locked it. That was uh, shortly before we quit coming out here. But it had a sh somewhat of a shower with, that we'd use buckets with, and then a toilet. Nothing too fancy. This is the house we were using. We have three couples staying in here. Two single cases and three married couples. I put screens on all the windows. That was me so that we could uh, keep the bugs out. I don't know if you can see a whole lot. Is it padlocked? That was the house. I put a sink in and then I took it back out. But it's got big gaps in the floor and in the walls. Some of the boards would fall off. And uh, so there were like three open, well it was one open room and we'd have three beds, one here and one down there. And, then I, and uh, we'd spend the nights and then we'd preach on Saturday. And uh, sometimes spend Saturday night and go back for the meeting on Sunday in Puyo. So we are at a school. I went in the middle of the jungle and outside of Puyo, and we've just been preaching all day out here, all day. Apparently they have meetings out here on Saturday, so the Shore Indians could make the meeting due to the fact that they can't afford to go all the way within the city to attend our meeting on Sunday, so these elders have meetings on Saturday and Sunday at the Watchtower of Sadi. We're actually here with the circuit overseer today. And it's quite amazing. I just lost on Monday, two days ago. I don't think the kids know that he lost. My name is Sofia Marquez. I'm living in Puyo, and I'm 28 years old. I am here for eight years, almost six years in Machala, the city where I was born, and two years here in Puyo. I can speak Spanish, uh, English, Chinese, and Shuar. Uh, I have 10 Bible studies here 
I really like preaching in the jungle. People here really like to hear about God's word and there's a lot of people who want to study the Bible here so it's really cool. My name is Jordan. Uh, I've been pioneering for five years and I live in Salango, in Manabi, Ecuador. Uh, right now I'm conducting about eight Bible studies a month, sometimes less, sometimes more, depends on the month. I'm serving here in Spanish in the Salango group. And I'd say that one of the best things about serving here in Salango is that um, it's a very small and, and closed community, very few people. But the benefit of that is that the witnesses have been active here for a very long time. And uh, the majority of people here in town, they know us, uh, they respect us. The ministry is really well known and, and people, now that we have the group here and are active doing the meetings, are really starting to, to actually act on that interest that they've had for, for many years because they've known the witnesses for quite some time. Here in Solongo, I'd say there are about 15 of us, 15 publishers and everything. We might be conducting about between 50 and 60 Bible studies in total amongst all of us publishers. At the meetings, sometimes we have uh, two or three Bible studies attending. Sometimes we have upwards of 10. Last year at the memorial, we had an attendance of 108 for about 20 of us witnesses, so that was remarkable, that was awesome. Uh, actually, about a month ago, I, I got my first roommate in a long time. Uh, a friend of mine from Puerto Lopez called me and, and asked if I'd be willing to take a roommate. Um, and at the time, it was definitely something convenient and something that would help me uh, with my expenses. And you know, it's just nice to have someone, someone to, to share things with too. Um, but I didn't know his brother very well. Uh, he, he basically just came and he came on a good recommendation. Uh, but he's been living here in the house with me for about a month and, and things have been going pretty well. Yeah. Well, we're up here it's over 16,000 feet and we're just taking a nice little stroll up the mountain to about, well, 5,000 meters, which is probably, I don't know, over 16,000 feet. So we're having a good time, right? Oh yeah. This altitude's getting to me. <laughs> And I've only gone like 10 feet. <laughs> it's all I'm getting better now. We're gonna go up a little further and see if I'm alright. We're a little higher. breathe. I didn't think I could even make it. This is the uh, Kingdom Hall here in Quichua, in Toras. It's the Kingdom Hall they rent a house here in the mountains. We're about 12,000 feet in the air. That's the Quichua territory. It's really cool. Throughout all my travels in Ecuador, I have decided to move to a small town called Salongo. It's right on the beach. It's been a real privilege serving here. And it's amazing watching a group just slowly turn into a congregation. It's been a real privilege having the meetings in our home. And I have to say, throughout all my travels of witnessing all these different pioneers so faithfully, doing everything they can in the sake of the good news, 
and enduring through so much to wholeheartedly do the most they can to serve Jehovah has helped to teach me as a pioneer everything we do and every action we make and every decision we make we must do it with the thought of Jehovah and do all things for the sake of the good news. So may we all enjoy our ministry and do everything we can to reach others to help spread the good news.